Well, good morning. This is Linda from North Central Texas. And I decided I wanted an old-fashioned omelet this morning to go with my coffee. And I'm fixing me a cup of coffee right now. I'm trying to get me a cup of coffee fixed. <laughs> I've got some onions and uh, a little bit of sweet pepper chopped up, uh, a little bit of sausage ground up, and they're sauteing in my pan right now. I've got to put me some garlic in there. You know me, I've always got to have garlic. <laughs> And some pepper. Now I'm going to keep cooking that until they're tender. Now if you wanted to put um, potatoes in there, you could feel free to put potatoes in it. Um, cheese even. We'll put a little bit of cheese in it when I get my eggs in there. Right now, I've got to finish fixing my coffee. <laughs> and you know me, when I'm here by myself, I use instant coffee. I don't use, uh, I don't make a whole pot of coffee. my milk because I always use milk in mine. I try to only drink this one thing of coffee a day. And I drink that when I first get up in the morning. Because I found it bothers my stomach if I drink more than that. Especially if I try to drink it every single morning. And I wipe the top of my can off because I don't like that milk to dry and get on the can for the next time I want to use it. There, now I'll be alright. I got my coffee fixed. Mmm, that's good. Now I guess I can bring you closer. You can see what I'm doing here. As I said, I've got... I have those little sweet peppers. So I cut me up, chop me up a little red one, and I chop me up a little gold one. I chopped up a little bit of onion. I got two sausage links in here, but I broke them up into little pieces. And sometimes I'll put in potatoes first because the little potatoes take longer to cook. I just didn't put potatoes in this this morning. Or if I've had baked potatoes from another time, you know, I'll cut up the baked, the potato that's already cooked and put in there. This morning I'm not putting any in it. Gonna let that cook just a little bit. I mean, some people put a couple of leaves of uh, fresh spinach in there. Uh, I've done that too. I don't have any this morning. I think I ate the last of that in my salad.
Oh, that coffee hits the spot this morning. And we're just browning it just a little bit because you want that sausage to cook. I'm going to eat two eggs this morning. Just put your two eggs in a bowl, beat them up. right in your pan. Distribute that egg evenly around your pan, pan so it gets on all of that. Put in just a little bit of cheese. Don't take much. Turn that heat down. And let me get a lid. Put the lid on it and just let it slow cook till that egg gets done and you're going to have you a good omelet right there. In the meantime, I'm going to drink my coffee. <laughs> Y'all doing okay this morning? I never can get this camera focus right. You just want to slow cook it a little bit. Because you don't want your uh, cheat, I mean your egg and everything to burn before it gets done. You know, on the top. And the, having the lid on it will help heat the top to help cook the top of your omelet. It's a little chilly this morning. It was like 37 degrees a while ago. I said, no wonder I was chilly. Little buddy loves it. He... He come in early this morning, get up, got on the foot of my bed and went to sleep. He got up with me a while ago and he come in here and I gave him some more food. And then he was ready to go out. He said, I don't care if it is cold out there. I like outside. <laughs> he loves it outside. And we're not going to turn this. Not going to turn it at all. We're just going to cook it. Because this lid is going to help cook the top of it.
and it don't take long. It takes just a couple of minutes for it to cook. If I quit taking the lid off of it, it might cook faster, huh? <laughs> Y'all looking for a nice Christmas? I thought about putting up more decorations outside, but I think I've got enough out there. I'm just going to wait another day or two, and then I'm going to plug everything in, and I'm going to leave it plugged in till New Year's. It'll burn nonstop till New Year's. That's kind of the way I do every year. Once I get everything set up, plug it in, it's good to go, I'll leave it. It burns. <laughs> I'll have the whole yard lit up from now to New Year's Eve, or New Year's Day. And yet, I didn't put my apron on this morning. <laughs> I never think to put those things on. I've got four or five of them, and I, I never put them on. I never think of them. But that's okay. My omelet doesn't know I don't have an apron on. Yeah, and I like to fix an omelet the size of my pan. It seems like it cooks better. For an individual omelet like this, or you can, if you make it real thick, you can make an omelet for two. Mine has only got two eggs in it, but you could put more ingredients in. Uh, you could put four eggs instead of two. And then when it's cooked, you just cut it in half. Each person gets half the omelet which would equal what I've got in here right now for a whole one. And you can do the same with a bigger pan, like take an 8 or 10 inch pan, uh, put six eggs in there, put a lot of potatoes and uh, peppers and onions and whatever you want in there. And then, you know, cook a grill, really big one and then just cut it like a pie. I've done that in my big... Uh, cast iron skillet, the big one I've got. My brother and his wife and my two nieces were here one week. And my mom, I think, was with them. And I fixed a great big, thick omelet in my big cast iron pan. And then I just cut wedges, just like a pie, piece of pie, and served it like that. My brother loved it. He was ready to eat more until I ran out of eggs. <laughs> I finally told him, I said, well, I'd fix more, but I, I don't have any more eggs. <laughs> I used, a, I think I had already cooked a whole dozen eggs. That was about all I had in the refrigerator at the time. But if you turn it down on medium to low with the lid on top, your omelet's not going to burn on the bottom while the rest of it cooks. It'll cook more evenly. You know, the eggs will. And I'm not all here this morning. <laughs> oh, goodness. I have to get my first cup of coffee to be really awake. And you see, I'm not even half through my coffee yet. <laughs> so I'm not all here yet. <laughs> I thought several times about getting me two or three chickens and converting my greenhouse to a little chicken house and put a little run around it or something. And I don't know. I've never had chickens before. I don't know if I want to deal with taking care of chickens. <laughs> little buddy's enough to take care of. <laughs> Okay, it's getting there. And you know what? I got my thing up here I made in one of my videos. I need to use it, huh? It's a lot better than putting a dish rag on there. It, it works a lot better, see? <laughs> works a lot better. 
And I don't think you could even see it. But yeah, this is a little handy thing to have. Just take your pot holder, flip it in half, stitch the end, turn it on the right side, and you got a little sleeve for your uh, pot handle or your frying pan handle, just like that. Works great. A whole lot better than the dishcloth. Leave it in there another minute and I can pull it out of there. Yeah, it's done. I can turn it off and we can put it in our plate. <laughs> well, I wanted to show you how I was going to do that, but and it doesn't usually stick, so it should just slide right out of your pan. Because I had just a tiny bit of olive oil in there. And there's my omelet. And if you like, if you have picante sauce or uh, salsa of any kind, put your little dab of salsa on there. Turn it into a Mexican omelet. Well, that's what I call it. But that's that looks good this morning, doesn't it? You bet you believe it is. Better believe it is. Y'all take the first bite. It's good, really is. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> that is so good. Y'all fix you an old-fashioned omelet. Throw whatever you want in that pan and brown it and <laughs> put you a couple of eggs in there and slow cook it till the eggs are done. You'll fix more of them, I'm guaranteeing you. So with that, I'm going to wish you a good day. Y'all have a blessed day. Have a safe day. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.